Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So in this one I'm going to teach you a little trick called the double Decker transient. Well that's the name I gave it at least. Uh, just before that I wanted to announce my Black Friday sales. So uh, my course uh, on Master the Score actually, so the Master the Score course will be 40% off uh, from November 16th to December 5. So 40% off on my course if you want to check it out. Uh, also all my plugins will be 40% off. There will be some information on the website about that uh, very soon. So check it out guys, and thank you! So when I mix big drums, I like to add a bit of transient enhancement to the, to the sound. So this is without it. And you know, they sound fine, but they could use a little bit more punch in the bass, as if you had like a tight kick layered. And for that there is several ways, but I like to use a transient designer nowadays. Uh, multiband one just to add that bass attack portion. You know, but of course the thing is, if you do that, sometimes it can add a bit too much of a click, you know, you just end up creating a bit of an unnatural um, click. So of course you could just decrease the amount of transient you're doing and balance it right, but you will always get a bit too much attack, uh, I feel. Because what happens is that say you have like a drum, um, this is a drum hit. Well, if you're raising the transient, generally what will happen is that you will boost this part up, this part up, this part up by the same amount, kind of. Well, it will, a bit, it will decrease, of course, because it has a release, so it will be a bit like this, right? But you end up kind of creating a bit of an extreme peak, because of course you're boosting the very attack of the drum. But what you kind of want is just the beefiness. At least that's the, the reason I call this the double decker transient, is because you will cap it afterwards. Let me show you. So you boost your transient, fine. Now you have too much of a click attack at the beginning. So you only care just about the beefiness that's added. You know, if I put a limit here, we kind of only care about this part here. The extra sort of thump of the first few, I don't know, like 50 milliseconds that you get from the transient. But you, you don't want this initial click because it will make the drum feel small in the mix. So how do you do that? Very simple. First you enhance your transient. You could do just the bass or full range. But afterwards you put a limiter. So you sort of cap that peak, right? So that makes sure that, in context, you're not gonna get any massive clickiness due to the transient enhancement. You will have a very predictable, very stable and constant uh, thump adder. You know, you could do it more extremely. Just the concept is simply to boost into the limiter. Boost the transient into the limiter. So let's try some ridiculous setting. Okay, oh. now it's too much limiting. Of course, that's too much uh, thump, but if I just remove the limiter... If you notice, that very first hit here is actually too loud and too clicky compared to the second one, but with the limiter it evens them out. Check it out. Like there is more of a brightness here, um, probably because it's kind of a higher peak or the transient enhancer does create more of a peak on this one. So you see what I mean guys, this, really, this technique is really gonna add more consistency um, and just like an extra deck to your transient, but a deck that's kind of controlled and predictable, a bit like a, like a, a rectangle shape, you know, like a block of thickness that's predictable thanks to the extra limiting. Alright guys, so I hope you like this technique, and if you have any questions, don't forget to ask in the comments, I will check it out. Uh, see you guys!